before we get going here, folks, if you're new here, do me a favor. Hit the subscribe button, the like button, the share button. You might as well hit the bell while you're here. That way you'll get notified each and every time I upload a video. Uh, YouTube is knocking down videos left, right, and center. and not doing suggesting and things like that. So if you do hit the thumbs up, I really appreciate it because that get, helps get my video suggested. Having said that, let's go. Good morning guys and welcome back to the coffee bar. It seems like it's been forever since I made a coffee review. It probably has. But, but, come across something pretty interesting. Now, this here coffee here is from Origin 1668. I believe it's a Canadian company. Obviously what caught my attention was the packaging. It's almost looking like a coconut, but uh, it's just, I guess it's not a coconut. It's a uh, wooden container with all their documentation on it. Pull the top, and you have your sealed coffee inside. Now the interesting thing about this is this coffee here is from Ethiopia. They have coffee from all over the world, different beans from all over the world. And they've just packaged them in their own wooden container. So this is pretty unique. Now I will tell you, you are getting 8.8 .8 ounces of ground coffee. Now I should tell you that normally a pound of coffee, depending on where it comes from, is anywhere from $12 to $17, which is not a bad price at all, and that's already ground. This already ground is 8.8 .8 ounces of, like I said, ground coffee. Now, you're getting less than half. I will tell you, the packaging is what caught my attention, and I paid $19.99 for basically the packaging. So half the money was for the packaging. Half was for the coffee because you're only getting half the coffee. Didn't stop me from buying it. I like the container. And even when the coffee's gone, this will sit nicely on my bar. Which is why I bought it. However, I have not had Origin 1668 coffee before. We're going to open this up. We're going to give it a shot. See what it tastes like. And as usual, we're going to try it black. And we're going to try it with milk. Stand by. Alright guys, as usual, while this is brewing, we're going to talk a little bit about Origin 1668 coffee, as well as the coffee that's coming from Ethiopia. This is a medium dark roast. I did check the other coffees on the shelf. There was no actual dark roast, there was just a medium dark, so this is the one I went with. And I've also heard, I believe I've had it before, coffee from Ethiopia, it's actually pretty good on its own. So we're going to give this a try. Now while this, like I said, while this is brewing, we're going to talk about this. I just opened this up and now my entire bar smells like coffee. And if you've been around coffee as much as I have, if I open a container of light roast, the fragrance isn't very strong. But you open a medium dark or dark or espresso, and I can tell you it smells good, it smells rich, it smells earthy. Alright guys, so I'm going to put this down over here so I don't spill it. Everything, I just spilled it. Well, that's how my day is going. Everything I need to know about Origin 1668 coffee and the coffee from Ethiopia, they have printed it on the back. Where it come from, all that good stuff, we're going to talk about that as well. Um, I will say this this packaging is well thought out. Uh, it's clear. You can actually read it. Every, I mean, everything is ink on this lightweight wood, but nothing is run. It's all printed on there nicely. You can actually read this, so... I can't believe I spilled the coffee. Let's talk about Origin 1668 coffee. Now it does say on here this is a product of Canada, roasted and packaged in Canada, uh, which I like very much. And it's in Richmond Hill, Ontario. Not that far from us. Uh, you can also check out their, their other coffees and what they're involved in and their website. So on the back of their fantastic packaging, it says cultivated in 
pardon me for butchering these words here, Sedemo, in brackets, Southern Ethiopia, the Yurga Chef bean produces a vibrant, flavorful cup of coffee. These beans are slow grown at a high elevation, allowing the tree time to deliver nutrients to all its parts and develop the full range of flavors this coffee bean has to offer. Now the region is like I said is Sidimo, Ethiopia. The altitude is 1700 to 2.2 thousand meters. That's all above sea level. The processing method was washed. On the cupping notes it says fruity, spicy, earthy and creamy. The aroma is sweet as in sugar cane and lemon. Now the other thing that I really like about coffee companies that are certified fair trade is that they give back to the farmer. We've all seen videos and we've seen uh, documentaries of such of the farmers that are in the fields every day taking care of the coffees that we drink every day and for the most part we all just kind of take that for granted. But what I really like is the company that gives back to the farmer like I said these people that are in the fields taking care of the coffee that we enjoy every day. So Congrats to Origin 1668 for that. Again, more and more companies need to do that. And, I, and a lot of times I will only buy coffee if that is how it is done, is through fair, fair trade. As most of you know, I get a lot of my coffee, majority of my coffee from Colonial Coffee in Windsor. Fair trade. Top to bottom, fair trade. So that's another reason I go there. Anyway, coffee is done. That's a little bit about the uh, Origin 1668 as well as... Ethiopian coffee. Nice and dark. Okay, I can smell a bit of the lemon. I'm not getting any of the sweet smell. That's alright. So as you know, we're going to try first black, then we're going to try it with milk. second <laughs> to do this coffee justice I should have let it cool down just a little bit but I can taste some of the fruity flavoring in it um, and like I said as soon as I open the package I can smell the earthy aroma to it which is prevalent in the in the coffee as well all right let's try a little bit of milk in all fairness this coffee is better black. Uh, even though it is a medium dark, it doesn't have a whole lot of bite to it. It's got a nice smooth flavor the minute you start drinking it. And you can probably drink this in the evening and not have a problem going to sleep. Which for some of you might be a problem. For me, it, uh, I drink way too much so it's really not a problem. Origin 1668 coffee from Ethiopia. I dig the packaging. I this is why I bought it, obviously, was for the packaging. Because when this coffee's all gone, I still have this and it's going to go up there. So, yeah, it's a novelty item and yes, I paid extra for it, but the coffee's actually really good. So I didn't mind paying a little extra. If I pay extra and the coffee's horrible, then I got a bit of an issue, but this coffee is good. So, so please keep in mind, this is not a sponsored video by Origin 1668. They don't know I'm making this video. None of the coffee companies, when I review their coffee, are aware ahead of time that I am reviewing their coffee. Neither are these fine folks here. So, Origin 1668, keep up the good work. This is great coffee. I will most likely be ordering coffee from some of your other origins around the world just to give them a try. But this one here from Ethiopia, you guys hit this one out of the park. Anyway, that's all I got for today's video. I hope you enjoyed that. It's been a while since I did a coffee review. Um, I have a few more I got to get done. It's just a matter of finding time. I hope you all are doing well, and I plan on having plenty more reviews in the future. That's all I got for today's video. And remember what I always like to say. The best way to drink coffee is the way you like to drink it. See you in the next one.